Welcome to Crypto Wise, a couple of wise guys talking crypto. Hello, Crypto Wisers. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Milton and I will be your captain for this episode. Today is a special Crypto Wise Halloween episode. It's going to get spooky, folks. So hang in tight because today we're going to be talking altcoins. For all you altcoin lovers out there, we are going to be looking at some of the most talked about coins out there and we're going to be playing a very special game. It's called Altcoins Dead or Zombie. And this very special CryptoWise episode is dedicated to the late, great George A. Romero, the father, the king of the zombie genre. We are huge fans of George A. Romero here at the channel. Give some love to George A. Romero in the comments. Let's get it going, folks. This man is a master, and we are going to be celebrating him today crypto style. So in this brand new segment, we are going to be looking at a handful of altcoins and we're going to be determining are they dead or are they zombie? If we take a quick look at the Bitcoin dominance chart, we can see that Bitcoin has been on fire compared to alts in the last few weeks. Now the alts had a really great run this summer, as we all know, and Bitcoin dominance went all the way down to about 57. It's back up around 60 for now, which means many alts have been destroyed. We all love to see Bitcoin do its thing, and I want to see it get all-time highs before the end of the year, but we like to see it when it brings the alts with it. Now, a lot of people out there think that the alts are due for a pump, but it does get scary. Halloween episode, do you get it? Do you get it? When alts reach the lows that we've seen because unfortunately not all these projects are going to survive and that's what today's episode is all about i'm going to be talking about a couple of altcoins and i'm going to tell you if i think the project will survive or not if i think it's going to die it means it's dead and if i think it's going to survive it means it's zombie it means it's not really dead it's coming back for vengeance Okay, folks, before I get into the episode and play Dead or Zombie, please do Uncle Milty a favor and subscribe to our channel. It only takes a second. All you got to do is gently tap the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button, and you're all set, and it really helps the channel out. So I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks a lot. All right, Crypto Wisers, are you ready? Here it is. Dead or Zombie? The first altcoin we're going to look at is DOS network dos now dos is one of the oracle coins and oracle coins were huge especially this past summer but if we look at the chart for dos it's brutal okay dos has been around for a while the coin launched in april of 19 and really did nothing until this past july and it went and it went very quickly from three cents to almost 40 cents it was crazy but since then it has been brutal and it's all the way down to five cents the market cap is just over six million dollars now we all know why oracle coins pumped that's because of the king of the oracles Chainlink. Chainlink had a huge run this spring and summer it actually started in January. It started ticking up and people started paying attention and then it dropped back down in March. But then from March on, it had a steady climb. And when it got over $5, it skyrocketed almost to $20, just under 19 And it was around this time that everyone looked for the next Oracle coin. And there were a handful that everyone looked at. There's Augur. Band Protocol is a big one. Dia, another big one. Teller. Nest Protocol, Oracle Chain. But DOS also got a bit of headwind during this time. And a lot of people started talking about it and thinking it might be a moonshot because it's an Oracle. But guys, the sad reality is that not every Oracle project is created equal and not every Oracle project is going to be able to survive. And yes, of course, there is more room for other Oracles other than Chainlink, even though Chainlink will probably be the king for a long time there will be a couple other oracle projects that do really well but in my opinion i don't think dos is it in uncle milty's opinion dos is dead 
What do you do with these dead coins? If Uncle Milty says a coin is dead, what should you do? Well, in my opinion, I would wait for a bit of a pump and then I would put it into an altcoin that you think has a better chance of pumping when the alts pump again. But please remember, CryptoWise is not financial advice. I repeat, CryptoWise is not financial advice. We're just a couple of guys talking crypto. We're not financial advisors, so do your own research. But if it were me and I owned DOS, that's what I would do. I would wait for a little mini pump and I would get rid of it fast. And I'm not talking a big pump, guys. So here's an example. We had DOS here at around five. It went down, then it went back up, and then it bumped here. This big bump was a good chance to get out. Now, of course, it could have kept going higher, but you can't be greedy. You got to make a decision on your alts. Do you believe in it or you don't? If you don't, let it loose and go into something you do believe in. Let's move on to the next coin. The next coin we're looking at is Rio DeFi R Fuel. Okay, Rio DeFi just launched. It's a fairly new coin. It had its public launch on Uniswap earlier this fall, and honestly, the launch did awful. Okay, it launched, it kind of pumped really quick up to about 25. Then it went down to 15, it kind of leveled off for a while, but since then it has just been on a slow, slow, slow decline. And guys, it is all the way down at five cents. Now this was a really big hyped polka dot project. You might remember the name from my video that I did on Mantra Dow. If you haven't watched that video yet, it's worth checking out. It's more of a deep dive into the project Mantra Dow, and I talk about Rio DeFi in it. So with a really disappointing public launch like that, the market cap just over $5 million, it has been a rough go for Rio DeFi so far. Rio DeFi says its mission is to be a blockchain technology company that accelerates the mass adoption of digital assets by bridging traditional and decentralized finance. The technology behind Rio DeFi is RioChain, which is a powerful digital infrastructure tailored for mass adoption. Rio DeFi is definitely an ambitious project. I'm surprised that the launch did not go better than it did. But in my opinion, to me, Rio DeFi is a zombie. I think it's going to bounce back, guys, and I think it could happen quickly. Why? They're about to launch their main net tomorrow on Halloween. You may be watching this video on Halloween, which would be very appropriate because it's our Halloween episode and Rio Chain is launching their mainnet. And not too far down the line, I really think they are going to get one of Polkadot's parachains. Now, if you don't know what that is, again, I made a video on it. That video is here. The next huge thing in crypto, it walks you all through what Polkadot parachains are and why I think it's going to change crypto in the next few months. There is no doubt in my mind that Rio Chain will be applying for a pair chain, but I think they have a really great chance of getting one. And I'm really excited to see how their main net launch goes tomorrow. So for me, guys, this project is a zombie. I'm really disappointed by the start so far, but I believe in it. And I believe that the next altcoin pump will see Rio DeFi do some major gains. The next coin whose pulse we're going to check is Swipe, SXP. Now, this is a big project. I know a lot of you guys are interested in this one. Swipe had some huge hype earlier in the summer, and it's funny. Back then, everyone was thinking of Swipe as the safe altcoin pick. As early as July, it was at 56 cents. And then by the time August hit, we saw its peak at around $4.30, and it looked like the sky was the limit for Swipe. But since then, it has plummeted and it's back down under a dollar. Today, it's all the way down to 84 cents. So why was there so much hype in Swipe to begin with? Well, that's easy. Swipe does a couple of things that we love in crypto. One, it offers crypto Visa debit cards. So it offers a very similar service to crypto.com. And if you haven't heard, Coinbase also recently said that they're launching their card in the US. So that is huge news and going to be stiff competition for both Swipe and Crypto.com. Now, if you're having problems with your Swipe wallet today, don't, don't worry. They warned us and that's just a server upgrade. So it has nothing to do with this video and it's not because Swipe is dead because Uncle Milty actually thinks Swipe is a zombie. Look, guys, I get it. They're up against huge competition, Coinbase, Crypto.com, but... 
Why did Swipe really pump earlier this summer? It's because they are owned by Binance. Okay, Binance owns Swipe. So really, if Swipe dies, the only reason they die is because Binance wants them to die. If Binance wants to keep this company going and really use Swipe and incorporate Swipe into the Binance family, then I don't see how they can die. There's certainly been a lot of problems with Swipe so far. They need to clean up their customer service, a lot of their offerings they need to clean up. But with Binance backing them, I cannot see Binance letting them fail. And actually, at this price, Uncle Milty is going to grab himself some Swipe, and I think I'm going to stake it. If you don't know by now, Uncle Milty loves staking his coins. I mean, who doesn't, okay? Crypto is where you get yield this day. It's not like the bank is giving you great yield on your money. So where you can get yield is in crypto and staking is an amazing way to get a return on your investment. But I haven't been staking swipe so far because the minimum has been a thousand. I did buy a little swipe, but I didn't want to go all in and buy more than a thousand. And at 84 cents, it's starting to get tempting. And I think that's what Uncle Milty's going to do. So swipe, in my opinion, definite zombie the next coin we're talking about is trust swap now a lot of you guys out there watching this probably know about swap because man has there been a lot of hype around this project the last few months if we look at the chart like all the coins we're looking at today swap was on fire this summer it went all the way to a dollar fifty since then it's been downhill and you'll see swap now at 18 cents the first thing I heard about Swap was the idea that you would be able to do automated payments through smart contracts. So escrow or time release payments and smart swaps. And honestly, at first I was sold on it. I thought it was a great idea. So many of the services we buy today are monthly payments. And the idea that you would be able to do that with crypto seemed like one of those ideas like why didn't someone else think of it? But the more I looked into it, the more I realized there are other ways to do this through crypto. TrustSwap is definitely not the only way to be able to do it. So the CEO of TrustSwap is Jeff Kardikis, and he seems like a hustler. He's definitely out there hustling. He's working hard. It seems like he really wants to build this project and build crypto. And he has some heavyweight advisors on the project, including Box Mining and Ivan on Tech. And if you remember from one of our very first episodes, we did an episode on who is the best crypto YouTuber? And we gave out the very first Milty Award to Ivan on Tech. So I'm a big fan of Ivan on Tech. I'm a big fan of box mining. I don't mind them being there at all, but I'd much rather see bigger names from other bigger crypto projects, people who have built successful crypto projects in the past. In June, someone named Nuance on Medium wrote this article, Trust Swap, Value Investing or a Scam? Now, to be honest, it's a pretty brutal review of TrustSwap, and I would not be that negative on the project. But they do bring up some good points. And as much as I hate to say it, guys, because I really like a lot of people behind this project, this is going to be a controversial one, but I believe that TrustSwap is dead. That's right. I just don't see this project actually getting off the ground and being successful. Too much competition and too many other projects that I think can do what they're offering better. The next token we're quickly going to look at is Swingbee. So Swingbee was another little darling this summer. Brand new coin just launched this summer and it shot up to 60 cents, just under 60 cents. But since then, the news has not been good. It is all the way down to two cents. Now Swingbee is actually kind of the opposite of TrustSwap where TrustSwap has great hype, great marketing, hustlers behind them that are building a strong community, but I just don't think they back it up with the tech. I actually think Swingbee has pretty decent tech, and I think that's the strength of the team, but unfortunately their marketing and their brand is terrible, and in crypto, that counts. You need to build your community you need to be out there making deals, talking to your community, marketing the project. And no, that can't replace the tech. Just like TrustSwap that I think is too much sizzle and not enough substance, Swingbee is okay substance, but not enough sizzle. I think this project could have done a lot better 
It's got a tiny, tiny market cap now of $1.5 million. But I hate to say it because at one point I did believe in this project. But unfortunately, guys, in my opinion, Swingbee is dead. Okay, guys, our last altcoin of the day that we're going to talk about is XDAI Stake. As you probably know, XDAI is one of the top scaling solutions for Ethereum. And if you haven't heard about XDAI or you haven't tried any of their dApps, yep, I made a video on one of them, how to use HoneySwap. I walk you through step by step how to use the HoneySwap dApp on XDAI. And guys, I got to say, I thought it was pretty incredible. This project, again, it's a new one and it pumped big in the summer with the rest of the altcoins. This one went almost all the way to $40. And full disclosure, when it dropped down to 20, Uncle Milty bought a bag. I thought that was a great deal for this project, but since then, it has not done well. It's gone all the way down under 10. It's sitting right now at $9.36, just under a $30 million market cap. But guys, no suspense on this one. Uncle Milty thinks that XDI Steak is a zombie. I think this one is going to come roaring back and get its revenge. There is amazing technology behind XDI. It's a great team. They are doing some really amazing things. They have a working product already, and a lot of people are starting to build on the XDI chain. Now, things have slowed way down, and as you all know, the Ethereum gas prices aren't too bad these days. And so not that many people have had the need to use XDI. But when the alts start pumping again and DeFi gets hot again, those Ethereum gas prices are going to go through the roof again. And I think that XDAI is the best scaling solution for Ethereum right now. There are a couple others that are on their way that I really like, but right now my favorite is XDAI. So I think when the alts start pumping again, that XDAI could be one of the bigger players. I think XDAI could easily make some big gains. Watch my video on HoneySwap if you haven't used it yet. It's really worth trying out. I would try it out now so that you know how it works when Ethereum gets expensive again. Obviously, look, I'm going to be using Ethereum just like you guys. I'm not going to stop using Ethereum. But when things get expensive, it's going to be nice to have XDAI as an alternative. So when I want to do some quick trades, if it's on HoneySwap, I'm going there first because their gas fees are ridiculous. So for me, XDAI for sure is a zombie. Okay, guys, that's it for my very special Halloween edition of CryptoWise. I hope you guys like this episode, Dead or Zombie. Please let me know in the comments what you think. We do these videos for you, so please let us know what do you like, what don't you like, how can we improve, and of course, let us know your opinion. What do you think of the coins I talked about? Do you agree with the ones that I said are dead? Do you agree with the ones that I said are zombies or don't you? Let us know. Let's start the conversation. Let's talk crypto. And if you did enjoy this video, subscribe to the channel. Okay, my name's Milton. Until next time, over and out. Thanks for watching CryptoWise. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.